What's up guys, the Crimson Gamer here, and wow, it's Saturdays with Crimson. But for you guys, for those of you who don't know, I made the announcement that it will be returning this Saturday on my Twitter, so if you didn't, then this is probably coming as a shock to you, but yes, Saturdays with Crimson has made its return, and I wanted to do a very delicate topic to me and something that's affected me dearly and, um, and that would be Brian Danielson for those of you who don't know Brian Danielson is a is a former professional wrestler who is best known for his time in probably Ring of Honor I think he did a little bit in New Japan Pro Wrestling but yeah, he's and he was most known for his time in WWE under the ring name of Daniel Bryan. <clears throat> so, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge professional wrestling fan. I've been watching it since a kid, and I still do today. Even though people say, why do you watch that stuff? It's so gay. You must be gay if you love watching men in tights, you know. Yeah, I saw the Robin Hood movie. It was decent, but that's not the point. But I, it's something that I have a passion for. And quite frankly, making fun of it's not going to change the way I feel about it. But this video is about Daniel Bryan and this past Monday, February 8th, he announced his retirement from professional wrestling. The reason for this is because he's been sidelined with a concussion injury for almost nine months, I believe. And uh, he was a champion when he vacated his, well, he had to vacate his championship because he couldn't fight because he wasn't medically cleared to perform in the ring. And it's this, it, this happened to him twice in a row. First time is while he held the world title, and then the second time, the most recent, was when he had the intercontinental title. And... It upsets me that he has to retire because he found out. Because originally WWE, the reports that they weren't going to clear him. And that they were offering him non-wrestling roles. And he said he didn't want to. And he wanted to return to the ring. Because he said he was fine. So he went to a doctor. Uh, I don't remember what this was, but like a brain specialist, surgeon kind of guy. And, um... He wanted to get his approval because he'd, be, he'd been cleared by multiple doctors to return to the ring, but WWE still wouldn't let him. So he went to this other guy who was like a huge professional, probably like one of the best there is, so he could get this like um, test done to prove that he is able to wrestle. So he was going to start a petition to either wrestle again or get released by WWE so he can wrestle somewhere elsewhere. But the shit hit the fan because that test told him that his brain's not as good as he thought it was and that if he were to step foot in the ring again he could risk brain damage and a lot of concussions because he's had 10 documented concussions over his I believe 16 year wrestling career so that's pretty big for something like that. And unfortunately, Daniel Bryan had to retire. And, you know, it's... It, I'm still upset about it. It's something that really upset me when I found it out. And because he was one of the inspirations for me in the first place. Because you think of a guy. Daniel Bryan managed to become the face of WWE. But he wasn't the biggest guy. He was small, he was a vegan, everyone thought of him as just the underdog. But he proved them wrong because the fans got on his side, and which led to his superstardom and, you know, the world title reigns that he got. Unfortunately, his injury sidelined him, which led to him retiring, which is now. And. Uh, this inspired me because. I'm basically in the same situation. I'm an underdog YouTuber. There's so many people more popular than me. But you know what? I do have people on my side. Even if it's a small amount. I have people on my side. And I know that if I don't give up on YouTube, 
only good things will happen to me in the future. I believe I have 226 subscribers and, you know, I, I need to thank Daniel Bryan for this because during my recent hiatus, I was watching some old footage of him and the stuff that he said and the stuff he, he's just really inspirational and he gave me the motivation to come back even though I'm still stressed out, but I'm still doing it because if he can do it, why can't I? And the day he retired really bugged me because that was also the time when I was questioning my retirement and Daniel Bryan was my motivation. It's the one that kept making me come back. So that's when I thought, if Daniel Bryan's gonna retire, then maybe I should retire with him. And I considered that on that same day. But I made the decision not to, and that's where that video a few days ago came in. And I decided, you know what? Daniel Bryan might be leaving, but I don't have to. So, I know this has been a lot about me, but I'm just trying to explain to all of you guys how Daniel Bryan is just a great person, and you know, it sucks that he had to retire. I wish we could have seen him at least one more time in the ring. He's, he's, he's worthy of a Hall of Fame induction, regardless, he's 34 and he's retired because of injuries. Yet you have people like Undertaker or Sting who are in like almost 60 and they're still retiring. Well, Undertaker not so much, he's 50, but that's the that's what I'm trying to say. He, he's really young. Most people don't retire that age unless they have like a career ending injury, which Daniel Bryan happened to get, which is terrible. It sucks. I it, like it really sucks because he's like I said, he was like the ultimate underdog and he was defying all the odds. He was working so hard to get to where he was at the time when he had to retire. And, sorry. And, it, it's just a shame because I felt like a great talent went to waste that day when he announced his retirement. And, I know he had a reason for retiring, but if, like I said, I wish he could have at least stuck around for one more match just so fans could have that and not just remember him as the guy who had to leave because of an injury. But, but will he show up again on WWE television? I have no idea as for what the future holds for that man. Hopefully, I would love to see him again soon in any form, like whether it's becoming general manager or he does decide to do that one last match, but I personally, I don't think it's the end for him. I think a new, he, there's a new life for him now as not being a wrestler anymore, but I feel like there's good things that come out of that too because he's staying healthy, he's got a family to look after, in all honesty, I know my chances are extremely slim, but if Daniel... If you are watching this, I'd just like to say thank you for all the motivation you've given me over these years, and you're just a really great inspiration, inspirational figure, and I don't know what I'd do without you because I've looked up to you for so much stuff, and now that you're retired, it hurts. It, extremely, it hurts. Yeah. That's basically it, I'm pretty sure, but that's basically what I wanted to tell you. Daniel Bryan he had to cut his career short, and that's something that really deeply affected me and made me have to do a video on it because that's how much I cared about that man. He was my favorite wrestler of all time. Like, I grew up watching him, and now that he's gone, it really affected me deeply and dearly. But with that said, hashtag thank you Daniel Bryan for your awesome time with the WWE. May have been a short five year, six year, ten year, but hey, you freaking lived your dream. You defied all the odds. You're the most motivational person I've ever seen. You started the Yes Chant. You got everyone on your side. Thank you so much for your service. 
and thank you guys for tuning in to this uh, fuck. Oops, I swore. Cut that out. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Saturdays with Crimson. In regards to this series, if it will come back for sure, I'm not certain. This may have been a one-off. But if I do continue Saturdays with Crimson, it may not be every week. It may just be whenever I make a topic or find a topic. But with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.